Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Access Speaker Series. I'm Darcy Totten. We are here today with Marley Matlin, Oscar-winning actress, author, activist, advocate, mom, and a million other things. <laughs> and this is her interpreter, Jack Jason. And we are really excited to chat with you today. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I had a good time today. I'm so glad. So did we. And thank you for teaching us a few key signs today. I really appreciated that. <laughs> That was a fun lesson because usually when I teach the audience how to sign a word or whatever it is, a phrase, I mean, I ask them to follow me and as I'm teaching them and then invariably what I have to do is to explain what it is that I'm teaching and then they keep on signing. That's why I always have to say, you can stop signing now. <laughs> well, let's just jump in. You have the most incredible drive and I, ambition and you've been incredibly successful in a really unforgiving business so on on its face your list of accomplishments is pretty pretty long um, where does that drive really come from is it just in you did you learn it is it both I remember when I was growing up that I've always I'd always been uh, hungry for information. I'd always been, I, I, I was just, I basically had a passion for life, whatever it might be that happened around me, knowing that there was life beyond or in my little home. I knew that I would eventually, as an adult, have a career and have a family, so therefore I knew that I would, and, and that I would have to have some measure of control in my life to be somebody uh, who had a, a career as a person, as a, a working person, as a mother, so uh, I, I think it was probably as a result of my teachers who said, you will do things. You will find out information. You will discover what your passion is. And whatever it is that you go for, go for it. Whatever it isn't, don't, don't worry about it. It's a learning process. And I have to say that thanks to them, I'm still learning every day. Let's talk about that a little bit. You had uh, one mentor in particular growing up that you mentioned today. Did you have others who were teachers or in your schools? I absolutely had other mentors. Henry was my mentor, as, as you mentioned, and he still is to this day. Um, my parents, I, even though they're my parents, I looked at them as my mentors. And uh, obviously, um, they're, you know, regardless of you know, the team moments that you might have, they were very forgiving. Um, my other mentors were my teachers. Um, I had one in particular by the name of Jane Endy, and I had her for fourth, fifth, and sixth grades. And she was someone who believed in me. She was also, I mean, she, she treated every student like that. But there was something about Jane that made me believe that she was right about a lot of things that she talked to me about, and I loved her her, just the way she taught, the way she connected with students, the way she communicated with us, and she really took a step outside of what is beyond a teacher's duties to make sure that we got what she was teaching us in addition to everything else about life. She was, she went that extra mile, and, or miles if you want to <laughs> say. She became a nun and she's now a nun, but okay. we still keep in touch, and I really adore her. And I'm very, I've always been very grateful that she was in my life ever since I was a kid. That sounds like a fantastic teacher. Yeah. I, <laughs> I want to um, ask a little, our theme for this conference was see me, hear me, teach me. How did you get people to, to see you and to hear you and to recognize your talent? Uh, um, I think the majority of people take life for granted, and when they have a chance to see me as a woman, a working woman, a mom, and as an actor who has an Oscar, and all of that as a person who happens to be deaf, I think there's no way to avoid seeing me. I think they're fascinated by my sign language. I think they're fascinated by my choice of words, my presence, um, if they're interested. and. I guess it's some way of connecting with these people by, by my signing, by, by being deaf, sharing my story, talking about how I was brought up, talking about where I came from, talking about where and whom I learned from, um, and dealing with everyday life. Hmm. I think that's how I grabbed their attention. I just happen to be a person who really 
doesn't take anything for granted and they catch up, they catch on to that. So, I mean, when I meet people, they, they might say, oh, I know who you are, or no, they may not not. But I just want them to see me as a person who has, has achieved a great deal of success, who's overcome a great deal of obstacles, and I believe that, and say to them, if you have a dream and you want that dream to become a reality, all you have to do is work for it. And if it doesn't come to you, then move on and find something else.